They are becoming an increasingly popular style of yacht with the ability to propel using sails or engines. With the right one, there isn't anywhere you can't go. Today we're going to take a look at catamaran sailing and the top catamarans in the world. Do you know why they call the catamaran the beast of the sea? Hit that like button as we set sail into the sea with the catamaran. I'm sure most of you have traveled on a boat, but have you noticed how uncomfortable it gets when the sea is rough? I've been through a rough sea and it was the worst experience. But catamarans are known to give us more features than a normal sailboat and also save us from the nauseous feeling of a rocking boat. So how are catamarans better than the normal sailboats we use? Traditional sailboats have only one hull which is centered around a heavy keel, but catamarans are balanced on two hulls with the sails in the middle. So why are catamarans becoming so popular? Out of the many things the catamaran is known for, we'll start with its size and compare it with a monohull. The deck has a rectangular shape because a catamaran beam is carried fully forward, providing it more usable deck space. This deck space can be used to install varieties of gadgets like refrigerators, air conditioning, and a lot more. Unlike catamaran's rectangular design, boats have a rectangular bow that is pinched. This creates a triangular, the area which makes the monohull less space efficient. This provides the catamaran with additional room for movement in the cockpit, galley, and saloon. Catamarans also feature larger cabins with stand-up headroom available in even the smallest of them. Additionally, they make it easier to divide up living areas, giving residents more privacy. Talking about stability, catamarans do not heel like a traditional boat because of the two hulls. It usually stays stable, which makes the sailing less tiring. The main advantage of this is the elimination of seasickness. Additionally, passengers can fish freely from either side of the deck, as opposed to having to modify their positions as is necessary with monohull designs to maintain an even weight distribution. This is due to the catamaran's far stronger resistance to capsizing. They can also be used in shallow water and does not rock when anchored. Considering the size, how fast do you think a catamaran can go? Catamarans, which are made for high performance, are known to hit up to the low 20s under ideal conditions. This still mashes it faster than monohulls of the same size. The catamaran is about 30% quicker than a monohull if all other factors, including length, stay constant. A cat can sail at half the speed of the wind, however, this will depend on the wind's angle. With a catamaran, you can actually outrun bad weather. Even with these speeds, catamarans are known to have better fuel efficiency. I'm sure there are a lot of us who are scared to go on sailboats because of the safety. Safety being a primary concern, let's talk about why catamarans are safer than monohull sailboats. The truth is that catamarans are among the safest types of boat available. Since a catamaran has no ballast, it is essentially unsinkable. While a monohull sailboat is attached to a heavy lead keel, continually attempting to draw it into the ocean's depths. Catamarans being larger and more stable in size make sure that people are less likely to fall overboard, especially during rough seas. They also have the added advantage of having two engines which will protect us during an engine failure. Due to a catamaran's small drafts, we can cruise through places where monohulls can't travel like near the beach without worrying about running aground and these sailboats can easily clock 250-mile voyages. Have you heard of Ferdinand Magellan, who proved that the Earth is round? He had traveled around a monohull boat which caused a lot of problems during his voyage. So would his voyage have become better if he used a catamaran instead of a monohull? Definitely! Full-sized catamarans are some of the best circumnavigation sailboats available. They offer superior comfort, safety, storage space, and speed when compared to monohulls. But not all catamarans can be used for circumnavigation. Only catamarans with at least 25 feet length are preferred for long ocean voyages and they are called cruising catamarans. While the catamarans have an added advantage over monohulls on the basis of size, speed, storage and stability, they are also a better option during rough weather which is a common occurrence in oceans. With these features, catamarans are better than monohulls for long ocean voyages but they also come with some disadvantages. Size constraints could be a problem in many locations across the world because most marinas aren't constructed for double-wide vessels. Having a wide boat is a problem that goes beyond the marina. Wide boats cannot fit in many routes and those that do tend to charge extra for passage. Most cruising catamarans are very well constructed and will never experience any significant structural issues, but a catamaran's fundamental construction leaves it vulnerable in several areas, particularly where the hull meets the frames that keep them together. There have been multiple instances of catamarans practically splitting in half, which typically happens when they are overloaded or poorly maintained. 
This is uncommon and is typically caused by a defect in a particular vessel. Although it is unlikely, monoholes are not vulnerable to it. Isn't that scary? A main concern is obviously the cost. Compared to traditional single-hull sailboats, catamarans are outrageously expensive. The cost of a brand new catamaran ranges from $300,000 and up to $750,000. A similar monohull could only go between $150,000 and $200,000. I'm sure this has convinced you why catamarans are way better than monohull sailboats. Now let's look at the best catamarans available in the market. Fountaine Pajot Astria 42 Catamaran The Astria will make you feel at home if you enjoy contemporary interior decor and opulent amenities. These top sailing catamarans have stunning interiors and fantastic living spaces. The cockpit and galley are immediately connected, making it simple to serve food and drinks and allowing you to converse with your guests while you prepare. The Astria 42 is a terrific boat to spend time on because of the barbecue, spacious cockpit and swim platform. Although Astria is a very pleasant floating home, it can't travel at the same speeds as more performance-oriented catamarans or against the wind. Dolphin 42 The Dolphin Osima 42, a catamaran sailboat that deviates from the traditional catamaran design, was created by Philippe Pouvreau in northern Brazil. It's difficult to blend tremendous performance and cruising comfort in a small package while blue water cruising, but the Dolphin 42 manages to do just that. Because of this, it is made with a foam core to maximize weight reduction and make it as light as feasible. If you wish to traverse the blue water on a high-performance boat that is secure and comfortable, this one will never let you down. Leopard 45 Catamaran The forward-facing cockpit, which is a covered and well-ventilated space to unwind and socialize, is the greatest catamaran for sailing around the world. The lack of island beds makes the berth safer to sleep in when sailing because there is no possibility of slipping off in a rough sea. Up to 12 people may fit on this enormous sailing catamaran, which is probably why renting one is an excellent idea. You may spend a lot of time off the grid thanks to the enormous water and fuel storage. These catamarans are huge sailboats used for long voyages and are expensive as well. Meanwhile, small catamarans can also be used to have a great time. The cost has to be the biggest benefit of purchasing a small catamaran for traveling. Smaller sailboats are less expensive to acquire initially as well as to maintain and dock in marinas or to dry storage. Some famous small-sized catamarans in the market are PDQ-36. Because of their sturdy construction and sensible material choices, these little catamarans enjoy a great reputation among cruisers. They are equipped with either inboard engines made to withstand offshore operation or outboard engines for coastal cruising. The boat has three cabins, a galley, a salon, and a head, but there's a more spacious feel compared to the smaller model. Lagoon 380 if you are looking for a small catamaran with all bells and whistles, then the Lagoon 380 is for you. It's a compact yet comfortable and capable boat. This type comes in a variety of designs since charter companies have employed it. You can choose between one or two heads and two, three, or four beds. Above the hulls in one spacious compartment are the galley, nav station, and saloon. Tomcat 6.2 This medium-sized catamaran boasts high-quality construction, vacuum-bagged hulls, and a plywood-reinforced deck. The Tomcat performs excellently both under sail and power, making it a great cruiser. It blends the comfort, aesthetics, and convenience of a powerboat with the performance of a contemporary sailing cat. It is available since the hulls can be detached from the deck and the deck can be winched up on a trailer. So, would you prefer a monohull sailboat or a catamaran? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please click the like button. Share this video with your family and friends, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to be part of our YouTube voyage.